Mm -hmm. mm. It's the morning cryptos, and today, 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 I have I have an exciting expose, <laughs> and it's about the marketers, the marketers who are coming into the cryptocurrency world, promoting, you know, the usual millionaire secrets revealed if you only do this today, blah, 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 blah. So uh, I have kind of a backstory about it. I think it might be actually interesting to you, and there's a way to use it as a way to gauge what's going to happen in the market. So without further ado, let's start the music and get to it. Go! <laughs> So, oh my God. So Bitcoin really, really went to, went to the mat yesterday and we are right down at 10 grand and no one, I remember when we passed it and the big celebrations that happened and no one's having big celebrations right now. However, this is actually really good news if you are in a position to buy low and sell high. Because here's here's what I want to do. Uh, let me just quick look at the Bitcoin news and then I want to get to my story. Um, evidently, the BBC says the revenue is coming calling, right? The, uh, the tax people, this is how, yeah. The tax people are coming. So I would think, what do you want to do you want to start exploring some privacy coins, probably, right? If the tax people are coming. It's it's a game. It's a game on a global scale of people against extortionist governments. So that's an interesting little story. And I know from the reading that I've done uh, about the Federal Reserve Bank, the central banks of the world, essentially they print money up out of nothing and then make it illegal to use anything else. So that's one of the areas that's kind of tricky, particularly with all these different currencies and particularly with something called US dollar tether, which essentially is a cryptocurrency that's used as a token to stand in place of US dollars so people can cash out to something that holds a steady value. But the reality is that's tricky. Uh, just Google it. There's a, a number of excellent uh, videos on it. Uh, Crypto Investor did a really good job. And so the very most important thing I can do for you guys today uh, as part of my job to help keep you and me safe is we can't use Tether anymore. Done with Tether. Stop using it. Uh, if you want to step out of the market, you basically got to go back to Coinbase and use your US dollar wallet there because that supposedly is actual US dollars, right? Even though it's on the Coinbase uh, on the Coinbase balance sheet or in their system. So that's pretty much the only way to get out of crypto, right? When you have profits to take someplace. And right now I don't have many profits to take any place and I'm in a number of projects that are doing really well and they're good long-term holds but I'm just not in, a, in the best position in them yet. So note to self, this is the next piece of the learning. Watch out for US dollar tether. It could really rock the crypto world when it falls. If it falls, it's pretty much a case of when it falls. So um, just check that out. Uh, let's see what else is uh, Bitcoin catches its breath around 10,000 after falling under a key trend line. So, uh, here's one from Coin Telegraph. Bitcoin's, Bitcoin's reign as king of cryptocurrency is in danger. Um, Bitcoin drops 12%, falls below 10, blah, blah, blah. Currency solve. I haven't looked at any of the other charts, and maybe I will be chagrined, but I think we're going to see a rebound here. I really do. Um, and we have a little green 
candle now anyway but here's what I wanted to kind of give you guys a heads up about and I want to do it I want to do it immediately while I still have your attention before you drift off into wherever you normally go um, and remember this is this channel is is hypnosis just so you know and it's hopefully hypnosis that's going to support you and help you and protect you right okay and the rest of it's kind of up to you uh, but I got an email from this guy named Jason Capital. Now, Jason Capital is seriously a really good dating coach. Uh, and as one of the areas that I work in, I help, I help men overcome shyness and their fear of women. And so it was kind of a natural thing for me to find his stuff. Uh, and he was recommended by another, another one of my mentors. And I ended up taking some classes and some courses with Jason on marketing. Um, and he, he sent out an email yesterday, the subject, Bitcoin's incoming crash. Now, Jason Capital is a dating coach, right? Uh, he's also a success coach for men. That's one of his newest things. And I can see how as a dating coach and a success coach for men, yeah, you would want to steer men towards some really good information about making money because that's one of the key foundations of being a man is being a provider, being a generator, being successful, blah, all that stuff, fine, right? So famous millionaire, Amazon is about to shock America's market, right? So he knows how to use marketing language to the nth degree, right? And so then I, I click to see what he's talking about. Amazon's 1.91 trillion Bitcoin shock, Right, so the language people, right, the language. Many of these lesser known digital currencies are trading for pennies, right? So I just want to, first of all, suggest that you guys beware that the marketers are coming. Uh, many of them are already here. Facebook, I think, yesterday announced that they're no longer going to allow anybody to advertise anything about cryptocurrency on Facebook, right? However, I want you to do a little bit of math in your mind. I want you to imagine, let's say Jason Capital, the last time, two years ago, he had 300,000 paying customers on his email list that he reaches out to every single day. That's 300,000 people. Let's just say for the sake of math that it's 500,000 people at this point because that was two years ago. I'm sure he's increased. Let's just for round numbers because that's all I can handle in my head. So 500,000 people, okay? Let's say just 1% of those guys or 50,000 of them, right? Yeah, that's 1%. I can do that in my head. Let's say 50,000 of them go today to Coinbase and sign up, okay? <laughs> Let's just say for, for shits and giggles. Now multiply Jason Capital by 100 other marketers, right? We know for a fact that the crypto sphere is the only place. Like I took courses with Jason on how to do email marketing. And, and I have to say one of his suggestions was to do a YouTube video every single day. And so that's one of the things I'm doing. So, but not because I'm trying to get money out of you people. Because ultimately, I started with $20 a day investing in Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum at Coinbase. And by July, I had a full Bitcoin of $2,500. Then I got into the Ponzi schemes, lost some, held my ground on a few, but mostly discovered that it was distasteful and repulsive and I wasn't going to have anything to do with it. And that's also the, the decision I made about becoming a marketer like these guys. I would rather just make my money trading crypto rather than making my money telling other people to trade crypto. Do you know what I mean? And I'm not saying that Jason's doing that. And the guy who he is referring to is obviously a guy who knows what he's talking about. But I just want you guys to be aware of the marketing hype. And to know that even though things are quiet here today, the marketing machinery is moving. And people all over the world are beginning to hear that, oh, 
you can make a lot of money. At one point, I think I've invested, I don't know, maybe five or ten thousand dollars at the most. And at one point, I was up above forty thousand uh, dollars. I'm way down below that at this point. Uh, but just because we've had such a significant pullback. However, the pullback is not permanent. That's what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is there's good money to be made here, and you can make it. However, you don't have to spend money on a course, right? First of all, you're here learning with me every day, and I'm doing my best to teach you as I do it, right? I'm not a multimillionaire. I'm a person like you. I have real challenges just like you. I'm going to make mistakes just like you. And here's the deal. I'm not charging you a cent, and I'm not gonna. I'm here to raise money for my music. If you want to pay me, check out my music. You could download my CD for seven bucks, right? It's not about getting rich quick. It's about learning a skill that you can use for the foreseeable future to provide for yourself and your family. Now, next thing. Check out Crypto Grinders. The link is below this video. He is one of the best teachers about crypto. He knows what he's talking about. He is a multimillionaire. And he gives his information away for free. If you want to go really deep, he charges a modest fee for his group. Way better. Way better than anybody else you're going to find out there. Data Dash. Really good information. He is, his heart's in the right place. He's a human being. He's made mistakes. He's young. He's learn faster than the rest of us. However, he doesn't charge you. He doesn't charge you. Okay. Next guy, crypto investor. Sometimes he comes off a little like Eeyore. But if you want someone who's willing to take a cold hard stare at the bullshit in the crypto space and call a spade a spade, crypto investor, man, excellent teacher. Check down below. Check down below. Mike Maloney, The Hidden Secrets of Money. Anton Antonopoulos, Ivan on Tech, Michael at Box Mining. Those are sources of people that you can trust to give you good news, important news, lessons to learn. There's no shortcut, people. And the marketers always promise the shortcuts in three easy steps, right? The seven secrets that you need to know. And and we can play with that language. And sometimes I play with it kind of tongue-in-cheek as to, you know, clickbait to get somebody to watch my damn videos. However, this for me is an ethical thing. And uh, and I just find, I find the hype and the marketers a little bit repulsive. However, as traders, we might we might appreciate the fact that they're bringing people in. However, those people are the kinds of people that fall for BitConnect and Ponzi schemes because they don't know any different. I remember, I didn't know any different. BitConnect said they had a, uh, you know, a trading robot um, and that they were mining and that, you know, this was a loan platform and I didn't know. So I put a hundred bucks into BitConnect, right? And then I got hooked into a bunch of Ponzi's uh, and and just sucked down into the vortex. I managed to get out of it, right? So the thing is, we all have to ex get our own experience. You cannot deny, as I come up to my one-year anniversary in this space, the amount of stuff I've learned just last week is mind-blowing. And this space changes so fast. So please, people, be careful of the marketers and check out some of the free sources that I talk about every day and watch them. Right, I just watched a great interview yesterday with Ivan on Tech and uh, the founder of IOTA. Right, and now I know more than ninety percent of the people in the crypto space about IOTA and why IOTA is the future of the crypto space. Right, so anyway, blah blah blah. That I just wanted to share that with you guys right up front. And I also want to thank you guys for your comments. And uh, somebody had left a comment of concern, like, Mark, you're doing so much work, you know, are you making any money? And I'm doing really well. I've just, I've got to stop talking on camera about how well I'm doing 
because my next step is to figure out how to protect my success in the cryptos. And I think I'm just getting started. I think we are just getting started here. And I think this is the pause that refreshes. And I think we're going to rock from here. So uh, that's my humble opinion. Could we go down farther before we lift? Probably, possibly, but we'll see. So let's grind through them real quick here. And um, you know what? I want to set up my my moving averages, I will edit this out so it's not excruciating boring. All right. So uh, <clears throat> I have my green 25 day and my yellow 50 day, my blue, my electric blue 100 day and my electric purple, the 200 day average. So we have dipped below the 100 day average here in Bitcoin. Um, and what's really clear is particularly some of the news that I saw was that, you know what, Bitcoin has to get its shit together and has to get its shit together fast. Time is running out for Bitcoin as far as they have to, it has to work, right? But when you hear people, for example, like the, the founder of IOTA, whose name is some Scandinavian name that I can't pronounce, uh, when you hear him talk about the fact that, you know what, like IOTA is infinitely scalable. I mean, infinitely scalable. Bitcoin is not. Blockchain is not. The blocks fill the fuck up, <laughs> right? There's no getting around it. It's a, it's a great idea, but it doesn't work for millions upon millions of transactions a second. It just doesn't. And that's what we're used to. And that's what the public wants. And that's what's got to happen before it can happen. And uh, he addressed some of the ideas. Let's go to IOTA, by the way. Because uh, maybe I'll just kind of focus a little bit on this. Uh, so I yesterday I had a chance to really listen to this extensive interview. Um, let me just let me just get it up here on YouTube because I think it's worth watching. Uh, let's go to Ivan on Tech. Enter. Okay, here it is. Do, 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 do. Okay, interview with David Sunstabo. I don't know how you say it, founder of IOTA. Um, okay, so uh, check this out. Uh, I will try to leave the link. I'll copy the link onto my clipboard, see if I can remember to paste it. Uh, where am I? Okay, so one of the things he said that just really drove home is that you know, they saw, like, in 2015 that this block thing was going to be a problem, that it was going to be a roadblock, right? And they began to come up with a different, a different approach. And IOTA uses the tangle. And for those of you who haven't heard the analogy, it's like the blockchain is like a math teacher collecting the tests, going home, and grading them, right? The tangle of IOTA is like the teacher saying, okay, Bob, you give your paper to Mary. Mary, give your paper to Sarah. Sarah, give your paper to Billy. Billy, give your paper to Henry. Henry, give your paper to Bob. And you guys correct each other's paper, right? It's elegant, it's simple, and it works, right? Now, the project isn't done. It's a long-term project, right? If you want to make money in this space for $2.30, you can buy yourself some IOTA, right? Now, it's also been said by its detractors that IOTA is, oh, it's just for machines. Well, your phone is a machine, right? And it would be really nice if you could take your phone, that machine, and connect it with another machine anywhere in the world and buy whatever you want, whenever you want, right? So I think IOTA has been something that's been growing on me, and I've been kind of dabbling in in learning more and more about it. And it was really good to see an interview with a real person who's running the real project because that's true marketing. He wasn't hyping it. He was just sharing the facts and the story, the authentic story behind it of a team that is from all over the world and they are doing their due diligence, they're doing their work, and they're doing great work that could benefit 
you and I in the future. So that's my story today. So IOTA is one of my long-term holds. And uh, beware of the marketing hype out there, people. I think we're getting ready for a pop. Now, to go back to the sales letter, what this guy is saying is that February 2nd, 2018 at 4 p.m., something's going to happen, right? And what this does is it gets you, fear of missing out, plugs right into the human bias machine, <laughs> hypnosis, Somehow, February 2nd, something's going to happen. And this guy is saying that, you know, essentially Jeff Bezos of Amazon is going to say, we now take crypto. That's what he's saying. Do you see people, again, that's like that's like uh, before Christmas when they're like, oh, yeah, Bitcoin's going to be traded on the futures, right? We don't know what's happened yet, but the market responds to something that hasn't happened yet as if it has happened but that's what the masses do. I want you guys to start looking at these charts and see, oh, you know what? Look at this pattern. This thing has energy and it boosts, and right now it's really quiet. Might be a good time to get some for $158 in Bitcoin gold. Not a lot. Don't put your whole portfolio in it. Get a little. Get 100 bucks of it. Get one of them. Get $157 of it. And then when it pops sell it. That's your, that's your lesson. That's your class. That's your assignment class. Just do it, right? Not because it's financial advice, but because you're curious and willing to explore and experiment and willing to apply ideas that people are sharing with you for free, right? And what a lot of these marketers have said is that, you know, when you give stuff away for free, people don't value it. And I disagree. I am so grateful to Ryan Lee over at Crypto Grinders for, he turned me on to quantum. I made a lot of money in quantum. His advice has been tremendous, and I've regretted it every time I didn't follow his suggestions, right? Not regretted it in a negative way, just regretted it. In, ah, he was right. He said, like, chill out. Christmas is coming, guys. And lately he's been saying, hey, Chinese New Year's coming. Stuff's going to quiet down. He knows what he's talking about. Check him out. It's free, right? You're not going to be manipulated. That's what I just want to share with you guys from my heart, that there are sharks in these waters. <laughs> there are sharks in these waters. I would rather swim with dolphins. Thank you very much. All right. So um, anyway, and sometimes whales are good to swim with too, right? Sometimes whales know what the hell they're talking about. So you might want to find yourself a whale. And for me, crypto grinder Ryan Lee is one of those whales. All right. So, and, and I don't know him personally. He hasn't paid me to make this announcement. I'm not an affiliate of his, right? So that's, you want to make sure, you know, what are people saying and who is paying them to say it, right? And money is addictive. So anyway, I'm small enough right now. I'm under the radar so I can speak the truth and there's nobody trying to buy me off or shut me up. So anyway, I got, I got fired up today, people. Let's just quick. I got to look. I haven't looked yet. So everything looks like, okay, Bitcoin cash below the hundred day average. And we have a little sign of green. Let's look at dash. Same deal below the hundred day average, a little sign of green. So there's some hope, right? Um, EOS has dropped down to the 50 day and a little, little bit of green. But the thing is EOS is so up that its averages now are kind of rising to meet where it is. Again, EOS, same deal. Millions of transactions, way better, right? Third generation, EOS is a hold, Cardano is a hold, and IOTA, those three are my, I really think they're sweet spots. Um, so that's that's my opinion. That's my plan. Uh, I'm not going to only own those, but those are the ones that whenever I have profits, I'm going to put them into those no matter what price they're at. I think that's my, since I'm not going to use US dollar tether anymore, 
I'm going to go to IOTA, EOS, and Cardano. Those are my three projects that I've done enough research on that I believe in enough that I think are going to solve the problems that Bitcoin and Ethereum have, and Litecoin even, with the, the blockchain. Uh, and different, different projects, different teams will solve it in different ways. And ultimately, John Q. Public, Main Street investors don't really care how it gets done. We just want it to get done, right? And a little centralization at the beginning is okay. Let it, let it get going, get going in a good direction with a team and some leadership, and then turn it into, then let it become more and more decentralized as it grows. And uh, so I think that's helpful. Anyway, uh, IOTA, just a touch below the 100-day average. I think not a bad time to get in. Um, and if I have any extra money, I'm going to pop it into IOTA. Litecoin, uh, nice and down, right on that 100-day average. NEO, above the 25-day average still, right? But not the time to get into NEO, right? I learned my lesson, right? I'm not buying up here. Not buying up here. However, if it drops back to the uh, the 100 day, right? The 100 day is way down here. So NEO is up. And it's one of the few projects that is doing well. So you might want to check into NEO. I don't know anything about it. I've got to learn my homework. Ah, okay, now check into NEO. Maybe there's a reason NEO is just cranking while everything else is dumping, right? So we're just kind of hanging in. And Omise Go, this is another good project. And eventually, one of these projects is going to figure out how to really do decentralized exchange uh, so we can get rid of Bittrex and Binance and Bitfinex <laughs> and just trade safely from me to you, from wallet to wallet, whatever. We'll see. Uh, Quantum. Same deal. Quantum's still way above the 100 day. Just tucked below, just below the uh, 50 day average. And the 50 and the 25 are right at the same spot. Boom, a little crossover here. Interesting. I'm still learning about that. Volume's down a little bit. XMR Monero. Nice drop. Still hasn't touched the 100 day. Ripple. I think Ripple could drop a little more. That'd be nice. Um, Ripple, for me, is not a long-term hold um, because I don't, I don't really agree with it from an ideological point of view. However, I will use it as a pump and dump. I will definitely, if I can range trade it, I will. That's my feeling about XRP. Um, it's a bank token, right? It's not decentralized, and I don't know if it ever will be. They have like a hundred gazillion billion coins that they're they're holding a lot of, so they are keeping the market. They can they can dump coins uh, if they need to. They could keep the price flat if they wanted to. They could manipulate it, um, and so I don't quite trust. I don't quite trust uh, XRP yet. We'll see. Uh, Zcash. Nicely below the 100 day, not a bad time to get into some. Uh, of course, it may go down to the uh, may go down to the 200 day. I don't know. Let's look at Cardano. See Cardano against Bitcoin, hanging tough. Cardano against the U.S. dollar tether. And this is the I only use the U.S. dollar tether chart because I need a U.S. some kind of U.S. dollar chart for Cardano. Um, and we're, we're holding right at 50 cents. Um, I think that's good. I mean, we have a beautiful 50 cent, 50 cent, oops. We have a beautiful 50 cent kind of support zone. Right there. So anyway, that's enough for today. People, I love you. I appreciate you very much. Thanks for hanging with me, even though 
It's been kind of like watching paint dry the last week. Not a lot of thrills, spills, or action, just mostly spills. And, uh, and sometimes that's hard. But these are the times, as I look back at the past year, when things have gotten quiet, that's when I've made a lot of mistakes. Uh, that's when I've learned the most. That's when I've actually gotten into a position to do well during the next push. And this market does push and pull back. It pushes and it pulls back. It's normal. It's natural. And it ain't going anywhere anytime soon. And even if all the governments in the world outlaw it, there's not much they can actually do about it. And it, it would cause some FUD. It would cause markets to definitely recoil. However, I don't think they're ready to do that yet because they still are watching to see if they can steal it and use it for themselves. <laughs> so they're going to let it run for a while and hopefully we can get away from them. Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, people, I love you. I love you. I love you. I can't say it enough. I really appreciate you and I look forward to this every single day. So I'm going to stop flapping my lips. If you like this, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Share this with somebody. And uh, if you want to send me money, if you appreciate what I do, just check out my music. Check out, you can buy my CDs at Amazon.com. You can go to Bandcamp.com. Type in my name, MarkShepard.Bandcamp.com. And you can download my latest CD. That's all I ask is that someone actually listen to my music. Because I think it's worth hearing. <laughs> and it's designed linguistically to support you, encourage you, energize you, and just be a, a force for positive change in your life. So that's it. And I'm sticking with it. Enough for today. Start the music. <laughs>